Fala fiotes, eu sou o Kalil e você está no Gamer Liu Games, uma boa tarde para vocês, espero que tudo bem. Galera, nesse momento acaba de ser revelado mais um vídeo nas contas né, oficiais da Playstation, Playstation Brasil e tal, onde os produtores do game, né, God of War, Ragnarok, eles falam aí sobre as criaturas, personagens e talvez aí o que seja um deep dive em Svartalfheim, o reino dos anões. Eu não vi ainda, acabei de receber a notificação, falei, vou gravar o react junto da galera pra gente ver, né, como sempre, juntinhos e comentar também, tá bom? Então bora lá, vamos ver o que, que eles prepararam nesse episódio de nome God of War Ragnarok, design das criaturas e personagem. É, personagens. Por gentileza, deixa o seu like, compartilha o conteúdo com quem você acredita que possa gostar de God of War. E vamos lá, caras. Vamos ver qual é que é. Deixa eu aumentar aqui um pouquinho. Vamos. I get to lead a team of fantastic and brilliant concept artists and our role is to create the characters that you see in the game. That's everything from the main hero cast you see to the creatures, the gods and monsters that you come across. The hope is that we get something that feels unique and stands up to the history and the legacy of what the God of War franchise has always done. I feel like from the first games, that was a similar approach that they were doing and that's not always easy. My name is Raf Grossetti, I'm Hello, the director for God of War Ragnarok. Hi, my name is Marissa Cobbert, I am a character technical artist. Hi, my name is Angela Rico and I am a senior character artist in God of War Ragnarok. Hi, I'm Bella Longfish and I am the lead of the character concept team at Santa Monica Studio. O cara do concept, yeah. mano, que louco isso, velho. What in all yarns be the happen to him? As a character technical artist here at SMS, I rig most of the characters and props that you see throughout the world. As character artists, our job is to create 3D assets based on the beautiful concept art provided to us. We do this by making sure that the silhouettes on the models and the textures and materials stand out instantaneously. So when you see our characters on the screen, we want you to almost like them immediately or have a connection to them to some extent before even interacting with them. As our director, I get the chance to collaborate with all the departments in the studio from, uh, from narrative to viz dev, because we want to make sure the factions feel correct, all the races belong to where they They're supposed to be like all the realms have very specific characteristics about them to make sure they all fits within the God of War universe. Sorry, one more thing. Although these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. In the God of War 2018, we saw Brock and Sindri, and that was the tip of the iceberg of the Holdra. And in God of War Ragnarok, we actually get to go and visit Svartalheim. Where they're Aí, from, and a great part of that is we want to make sure that we expand the cast. You know, we've just seen a little bit of, of what was represented, and that was something that we hadn't seen. Svartalheim is a is a beautiful place. There's a lot of different biomes. You go from wetlands to mountain springs, and took a lot of inspiration from um, hot springs, from the minerals that you find. A lot of colorful minerals, a lot of resources. So. The dwarves being the races that they are, we knew we wanted to play on that as well. So you see their influence on Svartalheim on every corner. It's a realm where you're going to find a lot of other environments. There's quarries. It's a very industrial city. Loco, It's very organized. And you can see all the dwarves putting all the work into creating this great city where they live in. Knowing that they're blacksmiths, that that was kind of reflected within their clothing. Ai, que louco. And you see that within the houses in every inch. We want to make sure that both the environments and characters had a cohesiveness that felt like Every inch of it felt like it went together and was designed specifically by them. And again, that's something that we haven't seen in a, some of the other realms and is unique to this. Galera, um monte de cenas location. novas, velho. And the hope it all goes together and creates a feeling within a realm that you're excited to see, feels unique, and really creates that sense of wonder where you want to go back. When designing a character to match the geography around it, uh, first it's definitely dictated by the biz dev team and the narrative team and the story team. They make sure the character is designed for features that fit in with what they need. When designing the Grimms, we took a lot of inspiration from the environment. So we took a lot of inspiration from lizards, creatures that kind of belong to that environment. They have those big claws, they're small critters to the big ones and really building up that race, making sure they kind of belong and that that realm feel lived in and that ecosystem felt like very diverse. 
Making sure that it feels natural and believable is a big part that goes into the design elements. So our artist Stephen Oakley uh, put a lot from the environment concepts that Luke Berliner and his team were doing and put a lot of those into actually the skin texture, even the bulk and volumes that you see in the characters. So it really does feel like not only do they belong in there, but you're able to see them and they stand out for the combat experiences with the character. Character design is all about storytelling. In the example of Derling, his uh, design was really tailored to convey his own personality. He's a bookkeeper from Svarlheim. <laughs> and because his job demands, he's very organized, he's very rigid, and he's a very play-by-the-rules kind of guy. But then in contrast, you have his friend. So when you see Derling connect with his pet, we see that he's not all just this rigid librarian. Cara, guy, quanta cena nova, him. mano, screen novos. I do believe that we're all storytellers, no matter what we do, even in the tech side of things. I mean, we work to make these characters Whoa. and then tell a story, and we can also kind of put those features and traits on our rigs. The prophecy saved Nossa, them winter in Ragnarok. War is coming. Warheim that dwarves working with different races from different realms. So definitely seeing Ragnarok and the impact of that into the realm, it puts them into this position that's very interesting to see which side they take and things that they're building. So as you go through the level, you find out a lot more about this race and the political situation that is happening while Ragnarok and Fimble Winter is taking place. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. One thing that Cara, quanta cena nova, que louco. Every realm is not that it's just enemies there to kill you. We want to feel believable and that there's a wide world out there. But we want to kind of plant these seeds within any cast of the realm that there's more outside of what you're playing. And we want the fans to feel like they can go back and really visit those areas and want to go e explore. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Going into Svarheim, I'm really excited for players to experience all the new races that live in that realm, how they play. They play very different from anything we had before. There's uh, wildlife, it's something that kind of goes unnoticed, but we took a lot of effort to make the realm feel believable. So there's a lot in Svarheim, a lot to explore. I'm really excited for Svarheim. It is a gorgeous realm. After looking through some of the cinematics and playing some of the cinematics and playing through some of the puzzles, I'm so excited how water plays such a big feature in that realm, and that is so cool. I'm most excited for fans to finally get to see how the dwarves live. Brock and Sindri were fan favorites in the last game, so I think that all the work that we've put into Svarlheim is going to make all the other dwarves shine just as bright as the brothers did. The best part I have is turning on the YouTube and seeing all these call-outs and all the attention to detail that the fans pick up on. That's one thing that we keep in mind when we're designing characters to make sure we do right by the fans. And knowing that all the work we put in will be seen and appreciated, that's not always the case, but our fans just get every little nook and cranny on that. And we love that and we pack a lot of that in for this new cast and we hope you guys get the same feeling with God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> <risos> Ai, que delícia, mano Caraca, irmão Mano, eles mostraram muita coisa aqui e, Mas tem um, um negócio aqui que eu vi que eu fiquei assim Pera aí Deixa eu ver se eu acho, mano Acho que é aqui, ó Pera aí Eles falaram um negócio aqui que me deixou bem curioso, cara out there, but we want to kind of plant these seeds within any cast of the realm that there's more outside of what you're playing. And we want the fans to feel like they can go back and really visit those areas and want to go e explore. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Olá. Aqui a gente já consegue perceber o Fimble Winter, pelo que eu tô entendendo, já tá rolando aqui, né? Nesse no Ragnarok inteiro, tal. Só que aqui, no Reino dos Anões, pelo que eu tô vendo, não, não tem nada congelado, tá ligado? Só que eles estão... Olha o que o Atreus acaba de falar, ó. Se os geysers... Geysers é um... Bom, um bagulho de gás, sei lá. Uh, geysers e o cheiro daqui estão piores. 
smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter. Por causa do Fimble Winter, será que os terremotos também estão? Então pode ser que essa região ela esteja sendo afetada pelo Fimble Winter de uma maneira, sei lá, mano, diferente, não com gelo, mas, por, mas com um terremoto, né? Porque o que ele tá falando aqui ó, é uma afirmação, ó. Lord. If the geysers and... Olha lá, ó. É, é como se alguém já tivesse falado isso pra ele e ele tá afirmando. Ah, então tá. Se os geysers e o cheiro e tal tão pior por causa do Fimble Winter, né? Olha lá, ó. Olha lá, tá vendo? Caras, gostei bastante. A gente viu muitas e muitas imagens novas, né? De, do, da própria Svartalfheim. Os lugares, vimos personagens novos, detalhes desses personagens novos que vão estar disponíveis aqui nesse reino pra gente poder conhecer. Quer, quer ver? Cadê, 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 cadê? Nossa, mostrou muita, muita concept. E eu adoro esse tipo de coisa, mano. Concept art, tá ligado? Isso aqui já revela muito de como a gente... Olha aqui, ó. Né? Eles até falam que é uma cidade industrial e a gente vê isso aqui, ó. Olha só que massa, eles construindo uns Paranauê muito louco aqui. Trilho pra talvez poder mover esses bagulhos gigante. Cadê? Aqui, ó, eles trabalhando também. O Kratos, será que o Kratos vai ajudar em algum momento eles trabalharem? Sei lá. Olha aqui, esse aqui é o Kratos segurando um material aqui, muito louco, ó. Cara, tá absurdo, tá absurdo. Olha isso, cara. Eu vou pegar depois e compartilhar, tirar um screen de cada um desses, dessas artes conceituais e vou postar, tá, pessoal? Vou fazer um vídeo mostrando, vou fazer um vídeo também com todas as cenas novas, né, de gameplay que a gente viu aqui. Olha esse lugar, mano, parece... Peraí, 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 peraí. Volta, 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 volta. Uma caverna. Ó, aparentemente aqui é uma caverna. E ó o anão aqui do lado, ó. Parece um cindre azul. <risos> tá minerando. Será que a gente vai ter, assim, esse lugar? Nossa, mano, se tiver vai ser louco. Caverna, né? Uma caverna nesse nível aqui, da hora. Bom, comentem aí o que, que vocês acharam, vocês curtiram, não curtiram. Qual trecho né, desses gameplays, dessas informações que eles passaram sobre Svart of Rhein te deixou mais animado ou menos animado? Comenta aí que eu quero saber a sua opinião. E é óbvio né, que quando o game sair, a gente vai explorar cada... Olha que lugar louco. Cada um desses... Olha aí, mano. Os caras com roupa de frio, mano. Que da hora. Olha esse Sindri, mano. Com toquinho. <risos> Muito bom. Bom, comenta aí pra gente poder debater, beleza? Obrigado por tudo. Um beijo no coração. Até a próxima. Tchau, tchau.